Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube, and we're talking about how to set up your CK box from start to finish. You're not going to want to miss out. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and huge shout out and thank you to Josh Yates for your time and patience helping me get set up. We are going to share some of Josh's knowledge in this video. Now, one thing that Josh recommended was to get a Ethernet port switch. This is important because we don't want to clog up all the Ethernet ports on the back of our router. So we can basically take an Ethernet cable, plug it into our wireless router or router into this port switch and Viola, we've got additional ports to run to all of our miners. So if you're gonna have like five or six miners, this is gonna be necessary for you to be successful. So with that said, I wanna talk about the power supply unit. Now you can order the one off Gold Shell's website. I do believe that power supply unit can support around four CK boxes, but I ended up going to Best Buy and finding this EVGA 80 plus gold 1000 watt power supply unit. Now the rule of thumb with these CK box miners is that you don't want your mining rigs to uh, go over 80% of your mining rig supply, power supply capacity. So with that said, we don't want to go over 800 watts because we have a thousand watts available to us with this power supply unit so each CK box runs about 215 watts of power. So with that said, let's kind of get into setting up the power supply unit. What you're gonna do is plug in the PSU cables to the MB port, and then you are also gonna wanna run the jumper box on the end of this. Now this will stay in for the complete duration of your mining experience. So. This is how we trick the power supply box into staying on. Now we have a very nice little visual of how exactly all the plugs are plugged in on the back. We can see that the VGA G plus cables go into the VGA ports. It doesn't necessarily matter which VGA ports that you plug into. We can see that the PSU uh, cables plug right into the MB outlets. Now the VGA plus, G plus cables plug into the back of our CK boxes and we can see that the ethernet cables do as well. Here is kind of an overview of what that looks like. Now this is kind of what your setup will look like once you're all set and done. One thing that I don't like about the CK boxes is that that blue LED light is so bright. It's just too bright and flashes if the room's dark. So. With that said, we can go ahead and power on our power supply unit. The fan should start up, but if you don't have that power supply PSU cable plugged in, uh, you know you won't see it start up. Let's go to the Gold Shell website. We'll click on software, and from there we're going to want to download Yoda BC. Now this is going to allow you to find your CK boxes on the network. So when you first pull this up, don't freak out because you don't see your CK boxes on the network. We simply have to press the black buttons on the back of your CK boxes. So with that said, you can see how easy that is and the duct tape I have over the uh, blinking lights. But your CK boxes should pull up and we're gonna right click on each one and open in admin page. Now you'll need to repeat these steps for each miner that you have. So with that said, we need to unlock this miner so we can make some changes. And you're not gonna see any of these stats pulled up just yet. We're just seeing this because my mining rigs are live at this time of the video, and I'm not gonna shut them off. So. With that said, you're, like I said, you're not gonna see any of this stuff. So we're gonna click on system and we're gonna need to update our firmware. That's first and foremost. So with that said, we're gonna go back to the Gold Shell website, click on support, and then we are gonna click on tutorials. And for whatever reason, that page didn't load, so we will click tutorials again. And then we will go ahead and scroll down to firmware upgrade guide. 
So we'll click on that. And then we are going to scroll down and download the firmware. So you have to be very careful. Make sure that you pick the correct firmware for whatever CK box that it is you are running. So I am running CKB miner. So we're going to download that firmware. We are going to head back to our miner. And then we are going to attach the new software and update. And so what you'll see is this firmware start to flash onto your CK box miner. And this takes like 30 seconds to do. I'm not going to speed the video up because I'm speculating that a lot of you are pausing and starting this video working through this with me so this will give you some time to kind of catch up with that said we've got about 10 15 seconds left we're just going to wait this out folks the awkward silence and there we go so now what we have to do is if we click on the home button you'll see that there are no stats or anything pulled up. If you still have Yoda BC open, close it and reopen it. And we are going to repeat the exact same steps from earlier. We are going to go to the back side of our CK boxes and we are going to press those IP address buttons once again. We will see Yoda BC find those on the network and we are going to go ahead, right click open admin page so this will bring us back to the miners and we can select what language we would like and now you can kind of see how the miner is recognizing um, you know that it's working uh, so the next thing we need to do though is uh, we need to connect the mining pool so we're going to go down to miner click it and then we're going to unlock the miner once again and now you'll have to do this beforehand or right now. You'll just have to go ahead and find a mining pool that you're comfortable with using. I chose DX pool for the sake of ease for this video. So basically you just click DX pool, put in your username and password that you created with DX pool when you set all of that up and you just click apply. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other pool which is the exact same thing just for the sake of this video. And now you will see that the, the miner is still trying to do that handshake with the pool. So this can take like five, 10 seconds. If you just click on a couple different screens, there we go. We can see that it will eventually recognize. So with that said, we can then go to DX pool and kind of look at the status of our miners and what, it's do what they're doing. So we go to pool, we'll go down to CKB because that's what I'm running. And this hash rate is going to be a little low because I've reflashed my miners a couple times for the sake of this video. But in the last 10 hours, you can see that I've made about 185 CKB. I'm pretty happy with that. Not going to complain. We can then go back to our miners and see all of the stats, things like that. The temperature, the hash rate, errors, things like that the most recent updated firmware time it's been running. Uh, so this is all very important. And like I said, uh, this is a super easy process for the most part. Unfortunately, when I was trying to set things up, uh, it was kind of tricky for me because I've never set up a mining rig before. So with that said, folks, I mean, I'm looking at probably right now at this time, close to 380 to 400 CKB a day. You can see that at DX wallet, I have everything set to auto withdraw to my Neuron wallet address. So that's pretty slick, but I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. If this video helped you, please subscribe and smash that thumbs up button. Special thanks to Josh for saving my butt on this.